Hello, in this video we will learn about the special operating system for embedded devices that is called Contiki operating system and uh, in that operating system we have a Kuja simulator which will use to simulate the applications for wireless sensor networks. So before we going to uh, learn about the Contiki operating system we just uh, have a, a look upon what is operating system. As you all know that operating system provides an interface between your user programs and specified hardware and we have different types of hardware av available with different computational capabilities and memory and processor powers. For each type of hardware generally different types of operating systems have been designed. Like for mobile phones we have Android, iOS and Windows. For laptops we can have Linux, Windows and Macs and for sensor nodes or for embedded type of node we have different operating system like TinyOS, Contiki, YetOS, Mantis. So uh, the type of operating system is depend upon the type of hardware we have used because for each type of hardware we have different uh, size of uh, RAM and uh, ROM available and we have different uh, category of processors available. So we require uh, operating system according to that configuration of the hardware. So a sensor node because we are talking about uh, here about the wireless sensor network. So a wireless sensor network consists of a sensor mode and a sensor node have a li limited computation capability and limited resources. Uh, resources includes their battery, their RAM and ROM size. So sensor node always have a limited RAM and ROM size and it also have a limited battery because they are deployed in the harsh environment where human cannot reach so we cannot recharge our sensor modes generally we place them and use them to sense the environment so we have different type of uh, hard sensor nodes available like Taros B, Mica, Z, Sky, Mot also a sensor node also called a Mot okay so each type of sensor node have different features and configurations and we choose the operating system according to the, their configurations okay now focus upon the uh, Contiki operating system a Contiki operating system is an open source operating system for a resource constraint hardware devices with low power and less memory so uh, this operating system is generally used for the sensor network in order to simulate some of the protocols or some of the network with the sensor node okay so generally it provide a GUI, uh, a graphical user interface based system which require very less memory that is 30 KB of ROM and 10 KB of RAM to run any program. It also provide multitasking feature and it also have a built in TCP IP support in itself. Okay. So the hardware which is supported by Contiki operating system is Mica Z, Viz mode, Z1 mode, Sky mode, ESB mode, etc. And these are the some of the resource constraint features uh, supported by those hardware like we have lower power, we have limited memory, slow CPU is there, the size of these modes are very small. So we have limited hardware parallelism and we the communication are done using the radio waves and we have low bandwidth and the short range because generally these hardware are formed a ad hoc network and which supports the wireless span standard. So uh, this is the basis about the Contiki operating system. For the simulation purpose, uh, this Contiki provides a Kuja simulator, which is Java based simulator and uh, provides a GUI uh, for the simulation purpose. We deploy the network based on the drag and drop feature or based on the selection in the menu option for the mods and uh, that is uh, shown in the uh, network plane. Okay, so we will we will see when we simulate one application using this Kuja simulator. So uh, a Kuja simulator is used to uh, deploy or simulate the sensor network in the Contiki operating system uh, domain. Okay, so we we also have a official site for the Contiki operating system. Uh, this is the official site ContikiOS.org. Uh, they will develop a instant Contiki uh, virtual machine in which all the tools and uh, all the software development kit for Contiki 
is placed so they make it easier for the programmers and students to uh, reduce the overhead of downloading all the packages and all so they just place all the packages and uh, make a vm uh, machine uh, for this uh, quantity operating system okay so we can download the instant quantity from here i have already downloaded this instant quantity zip file from the same link so let's start with the extracting these files and try to make uh, try to start the kuja simulator in that one so so after extracting the instant contact key a folder is created here on the desktop so this folder will contain uh, the virtual machine for the uh, contact key operating system so to open this uh, virtual uh, vmware files you need a vmware player uh always remember you need to have updated vmware player so i open this file on uh, a vmware 11 so you can go to the open virtual machine and in instant contact you just select the vmx file once you selected uh, the path from where you have selected is mentioned in the configuration file you power on your virtual machine it will say about the binary translations so just click on the ok some media uh, information also given to you so we have only in any virtual machine you are only have one removable disk devices so we have broadcom bcm devices we click on the ok now it is configuring the instant quantity along with the ubuntu opening system because the backend for this machine is ubuntu so they create an account uh, named as instant contiki and uh, the password for the account is user so you just download the zip file extract it open in the <coughs> vm player and type the password user so after this a desktop of the machine is shown it will take some time uh, uh, this is a desktop now go to the terminal uh, on the terminal by default it is open in a home directory so it will just start in the terminal check in the home directory we have different uh, tools quantiki 2.7 some quantiki folder is there some predefined quantiki projects is also there some wireshark and all code sorcery also there okay so we need to uh, go into the quantiki so let's check in this folder cd quantiki ls so these are the some ap predefined applications in the quantiki let's see in this application cd apps so these are the some of the applications which can be run on the quantity operating system okay come out from this folder let's go into the cd quantity 2.7 These are the 2.7 version of a quantity. Let's go into the tools. In the tool, uh, there is a simulator called Kuja. So we have to use this Kuja simulator to simulate our wireless sensor network. So go into this Kuja simulator. <coughs> this is a Kuja simulator. Okay. So there is a config file. Uh, you can run the Kuja simulator by press the command A and T run. A Kuja simulator will be started. A build file will be created. In build file, it will call the some XML file and compile the packages in this directory. Java C command is there. Some copying of this file is there. So when you build all the files, it will co it will run a simulator. This is one is a Kuja simulator, the Contiki network simulator called as a Kuja. 
okay so these all steps can be given in a uh, official website of Conteki. so these are the steps which i demonstrated to you you log in then start the kuja simulator okay so go into the Conteki and start the kuja simulator so uh, in this simulation to run a new simulation you go to the file select a new simulation suppose the simulation name is my simulation click on create so it will open uh, different windows so this is a network on which uh, the network architecture is shown this simulation control in which we uh, can start pause tap or reload our simulation and uh, here it is some nodes are there if you mention something regarding your simulation the mode output is given in this window like this window is like wireshark means the output of each node can be displayed here and uh, this is the timeline uh, based on some event uh, the timeline is shown for each mode so create to create a new simulation in this uh, uh, kuja simulator we just start with go to modes because simulation can be started by adding the modes so we add modes create new mode type so we have different types of modes available here okay some of them support msp430 okay telos mode uh, b mode is not there so i i can select anyone in this one in this mode so suppose i sup uh, select uh, let's select uh, sky mode a mode is selected now we have to browse for the Conteki process means what application i need to uh, run on this mode so i need i can browse the applications there is a uh, app folder in Conteki 2.7 we have different apps folder as well as examples so i just go to the example folder and can select any of the application here so let's let's see about the hello world uh, app in this one and uh, suppose hello world.c is a program which i need to compile and run on this hardware emulator so just click on the compile the program is uh, running so here is the compilation output cc is the gcc compiler for the same so i need to select only the source file and the source file is written in c language so you can see that object file is created as skymen.o and the hello world source file is compiled now now uh, you just click on the cr create button it will ask for the number of uh, new modes you want to add so suppose i want to add 10 modes it also asks for the positions so you can uh, manually create the position of each of the node or either you can select it as a randomly so i select the positioning at as a random positioning i can uh, select as a linear positioning ellipse and manual so select on the random positioning and click on the add modes so this will create randomly uh, deployed sensor node in the network output so these sensor node are randomly deployed now uh, in this uh, view option you can uh, uh, you can see the leds and radio traffics also so i just click on the radio traffic so that the communication lines can be shown when i start the simulation so here just click on the start button uh, events are started these are the messages from uh, different ids of the node so you can click on the view and uh, change the uh, features you want to view okay so uh, let's select positions so the position of each node is 
displayed ip address can also be displayed leds can also be displayed you can uh, select as a 10 meter grid to effectively visualize uh, their output okay so in the mode output for every mode there is a uh, output shown here what message should be there uh, sent and what is the mac address what is the rhyme protocol okay it is a timeline because we just implement the hello world example so there is no transmission between the dedicated nodes in the network so we can pause the simulation anytime we can reload the simulation we can step up the speed of the simulation or we can just step to further one by one we step uh, the simulation and this uh, it will automatically post okay so step by step we can run the simulation so this is uh, about the basics of uh, how we run the kuja simulator in the instant quantity opening system uh, so th this will give you uh, some uh, brief about the uh, pre working of the kuja simulator so let's you can also explore uh, we are not saving it so we can also explore other things in this one so there are predefined apps in the uh, in this uh, koja simulator we can also check these apps so so these are the apps which can be run on the uh, different emulated uh, hardware nodes which is available in the top down menu okay so you can try uh, these one also or you can try other examples of the koja simulator also so thank you very much for this uh, video i hope you like it if you have any doubt any queries you can uh, ask in the comment section thank you very much